Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex. And in this video, I just want to show you some of the testing setups that we use to test EAs. Now I'm down at one of my testing rooms that I use exclusively just for testing. So the sound might be a bit echoish and uh, there is a fan running in the background, you might hear that. But uh, I want to show you the chart setups that we use and the basic methodology that we use to test lots of EAs, lots of settings, all at the same time. Now later on I'll show you this uh, computer that I'm using is actually a six year old computer so you don't need high computing power to do what I'm going to be showing you right now. So this current setup has a two screen setup. What you are seeing is what is on the right hand side screen. I'm going to just scroll over to the left hand side screen so that you can see what's on the left hand side screen. Okay, so that's the left hand side screen. And you'll see that there are currently 11 testing charts open. So I can test 11 EAs or 11 currencies or 11 time frames or any combination of those all at the same time. Now that's a huge time saver and it really helps when you have to do updating of, of your EA settings and looking at various alternatives. If you are looking at let's say six currencies with four time frames that's already 24 options that you can you have to look at so it takes quite a while to re-optimize and retest EAs. But with this setup you can do it basically within a day because you're doing 11 charts or alternatives at the same time. So I'll just scroll back to the left right hand side screen and just give you a few tips of what, what we do. Basically you can see we're testing a variety of EAs at the moment with a variety of currencies and what I like doing is whatever we're testing like the pound yen four hour I try and put that open a chart above that to tell me very quickly I just look at that list to see what currency is being uh, tested and which time frame has been tested so that's one of the little organization tricks you can see I've, I can actually see all of the charts quite clearly I can see if one's being used for testing at the moment nothing's been run so I'm taking advantage of this downtime to show you all of this I control all of this through Excel spreadsheets so I record what I'm testing on each particular chart and the results and then once we have tested all of these we obviously save the set files we save the equity charts the actual results this the the save the we save the test results as files which we organize using windows explorer if we then go to the left hand screen again what i've done is i've arranged all the i the shortcuts to all of these charts in the order that they appear so I can actually open and close these charts quite nicely without getting mixed up. I also use the tick data manager and that uh, that is to update all of the tick data that I use and that is why I get mostly 99% quality data when testing. Uh, there's my Excel spreadsheet where I control all the results of my test and we save all of the set files and pictures of all the results using a filing system managed by Windows Explorer. So everything has to be really meticulous, filed in the correct places so that we can look at the results in a lot of detail at a later stage. We take pictures of the equity graphs, sometimes the heat maps, so sometimes the settings and the testing setup so that we know exactly what has been tested in each test. As you can see there's also the quant analyzer that we use to analyze certain tests and I'll show you quite a lot of that one later on in a future video where we 
use portfolio analysis to combine the results from various tests into portfolios to eliminate risk out of the EA trading. Or not eliminate risk, reduce risk considerably. Just to give an idea of the computer that I'm using, again, as I say, this one is a, a quite an old one. Um, it's still wind using Windows 7. It was state of the art when I bought it, and it has a 14 gig RAM and a fairly powerful system for those days. That was the most powerful system that I could get at that particular time. It also has a special cooling system in it to make sure that the machine does not overheat because this machine stays on permanently. It, it really seldom goes off. We reboot the machine possibly once a week to clear all the temporary files. If, you, if we look at the resource manager for this particular uh, uh, computer, you can see the computer is not at the moment exerting much effort. When we put all 11 charts to the optimization pressure, it reaches 50% of its capacity. So there's a lot of capacity for this particular computer and we can add a lot more to it. We have similar setups elsewhere in, in my house. So uh, this is just one of the setups that we use. You can see this one has eight processors. Okay, the idea was really to just give you a little bit of an insight into some of the ways that I test EAs. And hopefully that will give you some ideas for your own testing. If you've got an old computer lying around, you can certainly do this type of setup to it. I have laptops that can actually do what I've just shown you. Old laptops. So if you're creative, you can set this kind of thing up. It's really nice. It's a set and forget situation. You set the test up in the morning, in the evening, you go and look at the results and do your summaries and take your photos. And, and you've done a whole EA in a day or two. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.